Hey everybody, this is Rick Tallman, uh, working on a Camaro. I don't know what year this is, but it's a convertible. Um, coincidentally, uh, you don't have to shrink this glass, but a lot of newer guys have issues cutting it and getting it, getting it in to fit right. Um, what I do is, is I lay the film on here and I will take a marker and I will just run to the edge and run all the way around with the marker, just like that. And right here in this little section, I've already cut this because it doesn't go out to here. It's only the top and the bottom. Uh, I've actually already marked the whole thing. I was just showing you that as an example. But if, uh, if you just take your knife and you cut right here and you take your knife and you cut right here, when you go to put it in, it doesn't necessarily fit properly. So the reason that you mark it so you know exactly where to trim it at. Bring that over here. I'm gonna see if I can get y'all a close up. Now, you can see the marks that I've made and if you see right here, you notice I'm, I've actually cut into where that mark is. Well, basically, if you cut here, it's gonna be too big. If you cut here, it's gonna possibly be too big. So you're gonna cut right here on that part of the mark all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you're literally just cutting just slightly smaller than what the center would be or where your cut would be. Now you might think, oh, I might have a light gap and honestly, you might have a super, super small one. That sucker's almost too hard to see. I'd much rather use a silver Sharpie, but the damn things run out of ink or whatever it is too quick. So I need to get me a lighted Sign or, or lighted pill board, backlit pill board. But you just want to take your time and just stay right there on the bottom of that mark. And I got a little bit into the center of it there, so you see a little bit of a wave. So let's straighten that on out. We'll come down like that, and boom. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing with the other mark. And it's important that you remember what's up and down. This is the bottom of the window. <clears throat> now, you'll notice here these marks. I start out here and run to the edge when it's on the window so I know when it stops I'm where I'm supposed to be. Um, like I said, this is a lot of this is common knowledge for a lot of you. So you'll probably look and say, oh, I don't need to see this. But a lot of you... I know really needs to see this. So again, bottom of the mark. And how do I know this? Well, I've done enough of these to where this is just for me the easiest way to do this. I think a lot of plotters would probably have issues with this. Maybe not. problem with some of these convertibles is there's not really any black trim and uh, so this is kind of old school to cut it super super close and fit it just just right easy car all right I'm gonna take just a little bit more off right there because I can still see a little bit of the marker all right just a very small amount all right so this is the bottom we're gonna go ahead and the back window's already been prepped on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and install it. I think I got a bottle in there already. Alright, this is the bottom. So, keeping that in mind. Go ahead and roll this bad boy. I mean, you can grab this and stick it in just like it is. If you're comfortable just grabbing it, go ahead. 
personally, I, I just like to roll these little bitty ones because, well, it's, for me it's easy. So remember, this is the bottom. This has already been sprayed. So we're just going to come in, lay that sucker in there, scoot it over to where it fits. And like I said, you may have a very small gap. Um, if you get it closer to the top, then if you do have a gap on the bottom, it's a lot less noticeable. And in fact, sometimes it's not noticeable at all. So let's go ahead and get this clear liner off. And let's see if we can adjust this and put it where it needs to be. And there's just a hair bit of a gap at the bottom. So let's ease it down just a hair. Alrighty, and that's about as hairy as we can get it down. And uh, like I said, this one didn't need any shrinking. So, you know, if y'all guys have already done these Camaros, you know that you can just pull 15 inches off of a 40. And that covers the, the window. So you save a lot of material on this. And if you really ain't or you don't want to have a gap at all, well... You'll have to be really anal with your cutting. And you have to get it super, super close. But one of the problems is if you get it too close, then you got to start trimming on the inside. And uh, no, nobody really wants to trim on the inside. All right, let's see how this looks on the outside. And there you go. That's what it looks like after it's done. In any case, y'all have a good one. See ya.